Hey guys, welcome. Today we will model this part. And firstly, I close it to not mix my parts with the new ones. And I open a new part file. On the font plane, I will create a sketch. I click the font plane, then I click the sketch. I got a circle after line. I created a line. A group of lines as you see on the screen, and then I come this point back, and program gives me a, an arc. Let's do it this way a line here, you come this point back without clicking anything, and you get an arc. So I select this tool, make tangent. If you want to do manually, you click the control, and then you uh, select two objects. That's the way. Here we got a 35 millimeter. Here we have a 6. And this is radius 5. Let's trim this one. We close sketch. We go features, extrude, post space. We make it mid plane and it is 40. We can add two fillet. They are six. Now I will cut my sections. I will look normal to. In fact, I will do something different first. I will look normal to here. I will create a sketch. And I will divide this length into five pieces with a sketch, with a line. Sorry. We got five segment, a line with five segment. I select everything, make them equal, convert them to construction geometry. So I know where I'm. This is done. Reference geometry, plane. I select my line. I select this point, and I create the rest sketch. Now, I will create a sketch on that plane. Spaces pressed. And I will convert these surfaces uh, into lines, convert entities. Here I pick an arc and place here. I make this point constant, control is pressed here. And I give it a dimension here, which is 11. I will trim unnecessary parts. Something's missing, which is the tangency. Here we will create a tangency and we are done with the sketch. After this operation, we go to extrude cut. We have here a point where we would like to cut and we complete first cut. Front plane is selected, cut extrude is selected and I go to mirror and mirror operation done. So we got something like this. Now let's place here our uh, holes, mounting holes. I have a sketch, something like this first, as I always do. And I will create two other line. We made a mistake, we never do a constraint to the midsection if you want to give dimensions. So it is good that I mirror this one and some dimensions. Here I have 12. From here to here I made 27.5. Here 27.5 as well. Now circles, do three, control pressed, I select three of them, make them equal, and the dimension is eight. So I will change this a bit, it looks so, uh, close to the edge, it's good. We are good to go, I close my sketch, extrude cut, three millimeter. 
then I will look normal to this surface. I will say sketch. Three more cycle. Now I can select all of them because I do not have any other object from sketch. And I can make them at four millimeter. I cut those guys through all. So part first is about to be done. But now I start to, I will go to the two and then uh, complete the operations. So new sketch, new folder, parts, here I will say PP1. So I will create a save as, I will say PP2. I got two parts, one and two. Let's open them. One is here, second here, oh, yeah. We got an assembly. Let's open an assembly. First drop to one, and now the second. As I always do, I will make this float. Origin selected, this origin selected, and I added here a mat mate. Now assembly origin and part origin in the same place. We need to make some changes on this part. We go back. These parts will stay cut extrude. So this extrude now will be a different one. Blind. Change direction. And let's make it 10. And now a mirror. The section is gone. In the front plane which was in the middle of the part, I create a sketch and I select cut extrude one sketch and I convert it here. So this line segment here seems eight. Then I will make here an eight millimeter. Sorry, I have here sketch, yes. And mid plane active an 8 millimeter cut. We can activate the other ones, save this one, close. Now what we got, the other section already there. I made a very smart way of working, so let's operation. Yes, let's make them here also. Hmm. I wouldn't give this one way front plane and front plane made yes I copied first part and I just a little bit change it and I also invited to again to an, an, an assembly ambient and I assign different characteristics and here the cutouts are different but uh, since we have same points I wanted to keep the same same it was easy I think now let's a little bit modify it. I will add a chamfer here, which is 0 0.75. Sorry, 0 0.75. And a fillet of 0 0.25. Here I will add chamfers, 0 0.2. When I select the surface, it adds both edge. When I only select edge, it gives me a, on the edge a chamfer. So I create here a sketch. I will create here bosses. Yes, boss here. Two millimeter. No shoes out active. So I will select this one and select from plane. Control is pressed, I copy it to the other side. On the front plane, one more time sketch, edge converted, 
both sides was 2, this was 8, it will be on both sides. So then 8 plus 4, 12. It looks good. A little chamfer will not hurt anyone. Be close one. This is really good. Now let's uh, continue modification on the side. It, normally I could even do this kind of things in one part and then only make the necessary changes, but I want to continue like this. Yes, those guys are good. So we got here 0 0.75. This two edge will be selected. Hmm. Then fillet of 0 0.25. Both edges should be selected. Now we got nice. In fact, I would add it here also a fillet, but it's fine. Now we create your sketch. Yes. Blind through wall. Normally, now I make a little bit fast, but I will put this always in the uh, front plane, which is equal because I might make some changes and this distance can vary and then we may get into some troubles through all both. Yes. It looks good. Be close, and we got this. Yeah, this will be a 3D printing printer a uh, model. So uh, normally you will ask how we assemble this in 3D printers. You don't have these problems. So uh, we do not have any gap here. Maybe we should introduce some gaps. So a bit offset in the surfaces. This now needs to be flipped. I think zero two is good. You may ask me now why you do not uh, in once model everything and assemble. That's not in the real case in the real life uh, uh, way, guys. We deal with complex things, and you want to see everything in in one area, and model things depending on other situations so it's always good you start with some base and you model certain things and then you bring into same place and then you complete your uh, final adjustments it's the best way this is a simple way but i could have much more complex model and then you will have a big issue to remember everything but now i depend on the other one and i see them in them them in the one same am int it's really good and we have also this here we might uh, even add a mate so advanced mate this one so at max 180 and it mean zero So 0 to 180, we define, and we can hide this line. Anyway, I speak a lot, spoke a lot. And uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button and make a comment. See you in another video.